morning, everyone. It is Friday morning. I am dropping my daughter, Joey, right there, off at school. She's beatboxing if you can. <laughs> She's a wonderful beatboxer, but she wants everybody to go over and subscribe to her YouTube page. What is it, Joey? What's your YouTube unicorn name? Unicorn T5. It's, I think, unicorn dot T5? Yeah. Yeah. So she wants some subscribers. She's got two awesome videos, huh, Joey? So she's going to school right now, and then after we drop her off, my other daughter, who's right here, but you can't see her because she doesn't want to be on camera, Gabby. Be on your camera. Right, she's 17, <laughs> and she's got to get a root canal. Ooh, a root canal. <laughs> so um, we have an appointment for that. I'm not quite sure how that's going to be, but um, I don't know. We'll let you know how it works out when she's done. Say bye, Joey. Bye. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe so you can see more of these fabulous videos. Yeah. It's Friday night. Um, I just came back from doing Amazon in Sarasota. It's like a 45 minute drive. And I decided it's gonna be an Uber night. Um, so I, right when I turned it on, within 10 minutes, I got my first order it's, um, to pick up it. Chile Verde, which is literally like four minutes up the street. And now I am dropping it off to Sarah, who is five minutes away. So we got that dropped off. Um, this is Elements on 3rd, which is an apartment complex that you can never get in. You have to go walk to the walk-up gate and put in code in, which they never give you the code. It's like almost impossible to get in. And when I got there, like literally, I just walked right up and I got in. And I was like, what's going on here? The whole system's down so you can get in. But there's a UPS truck that's parked in the way, making it almost impossible for anyone to park here. Anyways, so I got that dropped off to Sarah. I left it at her door and took a picture. Um, and it is 8.29, so let's see how long it takes us to get another order. There must be too many people on because I ain't getting shit. I mean, it's Friday night, dude. Like, this is crazy. Come on. I'm gonna keep trying. At what point, guys, do we give up? Tell me in the comments, please. And while you're at it, might as well hit the like button and subscribe to my channel so that more people can see these videos. I ain't gonna lie, they did just try to give me an order. It was $3.97. It was only two and a half miles, but... Actually, no, it was like six and a half miles. But anyways, it wasn't because of the low pay that I didn't accept that order. It was because it was sending me right into the heart of where all the shootings are. Ah! Every other night there's been a shooting. Like legit, a cop just got shot in the groin like a night ago, the night before last. I don't want to go there. And it's at night it always happens too, or early morning. So I am all set, Uber. All right, guys, we got a second order, Woohoo! Too bad it's only like $3 at Outback, which because it's Outback, I'm anticipating it's gonna be a higher pay or at least a bigger tip added on. Fingers crossed, dudes, because I swear if I have to do this order for fucking dirt cheap, I'm gonna be pissed, like dirt cheap. Let's see, I'm here now. All right, let's go get that grub. It's straight from Cali, that's what's in my that's what I'm And been one since I was young enough to know that everybody was gonna I'm pissed off right now, I just witnessed some fucked up shit Fucked up So, it's been over 20 minutes that I've been sitting there Waiting for that order from Outback Nobody said a word to me One girl was walking by and I was like Oh, I'm picking up an order for Erica and she just kind of looked at me. So literally five minutes ago, not even, 
another delivery driver um, came over and you know she was a beautiful girl I'm, I know I'm, I'm beautiful in my own way we're all beautiful in our own way but like she was beautiful she had like big boobs you know skinny waist and nice ass you know she was beautiful and right away they didn't even say nothing to me went right over to her and asked her who the fuck she was waiting for this fucked up shit man that's fucked up like dude I didn't make myself this way and you go over to the person who's fucking dropped dead gorgeous like and dressed like a little fucking slut you know no disrespect to her whatsoever but fucking what the fuck dude like I was standing there for 25 minutes fucking asshole and you go take her dude that's fucked up that is fucked up sorry I had to let myself calm down a little bit cause with every right I had I was fucking angry but <sighs> let that go I, I got rid of the order. I was sick of waiting. And she was getting her order and nobody said two words to me. So I went to the little um, triangle for the report and issue. And I said excessive wait time. And I canceled the order from, from me. So somebody else, maybe she'll get that order. I don't know if she was Uber or DoorDash. I don't know. But, um, you know, this is, this is what pisses me off too. Like about... Uber and DoorDash, it makes me not want to do this job. Is they pay us pennies. Like, if we don't get that tip from the customer, we're not getting paid great at all. You know, once in a while we get a really good order, and sometimes, like, I'm on a roll and I get good orders, but then they send you those stupid $2 orders and stuff and $3 orders, but I took it anyways. And I noticed it seems like with Uber, the more you either decline something or um, like you get you cancel it after you've already got it, it seems like the more they don't give you another order or steady orders. And that's what it seems like. Um, and another YouTuber was saying the same thing. And DoorDash isn't even busy right now or they have enough dashers on. And I... I deleted my time my scheduled time because it wasn't busy and here again like always I'm driving up and down the street where they say it's busy and I'm not getting any orders like the only guaranteed money lately that I've been making is with Amazon it, it's really messed up I don't understand what's going on I'm like maybe because Christmas everybody's buying presents I spoke I just got an order um it's technically my third order, but really, it's my second order. Um, Bonefish Grill, it was for like $10 to go like two miles. Beautiful, beautiful. So I am, I did a Yui and I'm heading to Bonefish Grill now. Woohoo! All right, we got Danny's order. He's six minutes away. So, when I went in there, there was a bag sitting there waiting, and there was this strangest looking contraption right here. That's a drink holder, very strange, for two drinks. But anyways, there was um, a kid who came over and said, can I help you, did anybody help you yet, or whatever, I said no. And he was like, um, okay, you know, what order do you have? So him and I verified the order. I even checked, because I couldn't see the, find the name. It was at the bottom of the receipt. So I checked the actual order number, and him and I both made sure that we had the right order. And then we were checking about the apple juices, and I was picking up the bag. And there was a lady that came, some really short lady. And she was like, wait, 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 wait. I was like, okay. And she turned and like pulled the bag out of my hands. I'm like, why? And why not? Today is not my night. Do not fuck with me tonight, is what I was thinking. And she's like, um, who are you here to pick up for? I'm like, we already verified it. And she's like, uh, who do you have? I was like, Danny, we verified it. Oh, okay. And then hands it to me. It's like, what, you don't have faith in the other dude? Like, you must have been new or something. But even he, like, rolled his eyes at her. But whatever. I got Danny's order. We got it. Let's go be good and drop it off to Danny. So... I'll see you at Danny's house. <laughs> Alright, well, it's 
said leave at your door at my door but Danny and his wife and his like three or four kids were all outside and the kids some of them were riding bikes and the mom was holding the younger baby feeding her. It was, it was nice to see. Beautiful house. But um Danny's got his order, his food. They're about to feed their family uh, a little late, but Alright. Come on now, let's get that third order. I am waiting. So it may have taken 35 to 40 minutes, but I got my third order uh, at 7-Eleven for Josh, and when I got here, it's some booze, so I'm heading over to Josh now. He told me I was beautiful. <laughs> I had to pause because my daughter called me and she needs me for a minute. So even though I was sitting there for the half an hour, 40 minutes, I didn't get any orders. I got to run back there because, of course, she didn't need me when I was there. So I will see you there. Yes, I was just telling you guys how the guy, um, I don't even remember his name, but how he said I was beautiful. <laughs> That's because he was drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Another thing I noticed about um, Uber in my area, like after 9 o'clock, 9.30, I really don't get any food orders. It's all alcohol. <laughs> and like, I mean, I don't mind doing the alcohol orders or whatever, but I hate having to check their IDs. It's just number one time consuming touch their license that sanitizing my hands now. I lost some of it. It fell. <laughs> That's terrible. sanitizing and washing my hands like we, like we should be but like I would sanitize my hands like before and after every order which yeah is probably a little bit too much but I didn't catch nothing you know and I don't do it as often as I should anymore and I'm a little bit bummed out at myself I'm disappointed just picked up my fourth order woo, 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 I think <laughs> on my way to Nick it's Taco Bell! My gosh. I don't know why I didn't press record when I was having all the trouble. That would have been better. But um, the customer gave me the address of the apartment complex, but didn't give me the code to get in, and, and didn't give me the apartment number or building number. Like, what do you expect me to do? How the hell you expect me to get in? It's 10.40 at night. So of course, I'm sitting there trying to text him. How do I get in? How do I get in? Trying to call him. Finally, I get through. Oh, he told me to dial a certain number and which apartment it was. And he just gave me too many numbers all at once and then got off the phone with me. By the time I turned around and got to the dial box, I had no fucking clue what he had just told me. So I knew he had said like 4102 and like, I thought he said 035. Well, it was 015. I had to call him back again. And it was 4302. Which I know he said 4102 the first time. But anyways, it's dropped off and delivered. He's got his stuff. I'm on my way to pick up my daughter because I'm sure I won't get another order if I don't see you guys again tonight. Please Hit the like button, get my videos up to the top of the list. I seen it at like number 12 uh, when I did a search earlier today with my daughter. And subscribe, 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 subscribe. The bell notifications on because I am dropping videos as much as I possibly can. So that way you'll get notified when I do. Good morning everyone, it is Saturday morning. 
I just wanted to give you a rundown of my Uber shift for yesterday. So I only did six orders for Uber all day, a total of like three hours um, and some change. I'll put it right here because I made like $59. I had two people who increased the tip at least $10 after I delivered the orders, which is pretty damn sweet. So I can't believe it in like just six trips. I made almost $60. Not too bad, not too bad. Other than that, peace out.